Good afternoon. It's uh, Thursday, February 15th, 2007. This is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trend speaking. The uh, market was pretty quiet today. The S&Ps finished up with 20 cents. So once again, if you were looking to make money in the short side, you were in the wrong place at the wrong time because the S&Ps did, again, finish with a 20 cent gain. And you can see that early on there was a little bit of profit taking, but it did continue to grind higher. And I think a lot of that has to do with just a slow bleed from the short sellers as they uh, s cover their positions in here and realize that fighting the trend is not a good strategy. Uh, we've got uh, support right now that looks like it should come in right around this 145.35 level or so. Uh, we got a test of yesterday afternoon's lows. So, you know, in this in this area, 35 to 40 cents, I think, is our support level. As far as resistance goes, that's, that's, good. that's anyone's guess as we are in uh, new high territory for uh, multiple years here and this stuff from back here isn't really that relevant i mean it's possible that we could be heading for the 2000 highs it's really within striking distance now that it's starting to become a uh, a possible uh, reality that that could happen so let's not jump to uh conclusions thinking that the market's overbought or whatever your reasons are for getting short when the market starts turning lower that'll be the time to sell short but as long as we have a rising 50-day moving average, that tells me that the buyers are in control and that it's foolish to sell short except for very brief periods of time when we get uh, overbought and it starts breaking down like we saw in here um, when, we, when we looked at that short sale last week right under here. But against the primary trend makes it riskier all the time. So just keep that in mind and uh, trade with the trend. That's uh, where the better odds are. Now NASDAQ, the NASDAQ 100, the Qs here were up 26 cents. So percentage-wise, they were up better than, uh, than the S&P 500. And we're starting to see some, some real strength in the NASDAQ right now. The failed breakout last week from this level right here at about 44.35, 44.40, uh, we, we have taken that out. Now I view that again as a valid level of support for this market. So this, uh, and that's this level right here, which is about 44.40. But now we've taken out that high as well at about 44.60. So we've made that higher high. And, and really, the buyers are in control of the NASDAQ once again. We've got this 50-day moving average that's somewhat flat but still rising. The, the rate of ascent has, has definitely slowed, but it is still rising. And in the intermediate, so the longer term trend is still higher. Intermediate term trend starting to turn back up again. And short term trend uh, definitely higher once again, as we saw a uh, just a, a pretty steady grind higher in the markets today. Slow, steady, boring, but still higher. So if you're bullish, uh, looks like maybe we're heading for the highs in the uh, NASDAQ 100, once again, up near about 45.40. The best level of support right now, I'd say probably still down near this area. And maybe we'll get the five-day moving average, which is now advancing to catch up to it in that 44.30 level. So it's a little bit overbought here. Maybe a, a better short-term area of support is right about 44.5 or so. But the buyers are in control. Don't fight it. Don't try and fade it. Big caps, we had a real nice bounce off that rising 10-day moving average. We said that it looked like it was uh, uh, just a low-volume pullback to a rising moving average. That's exactly what we've had happen here. The market took out that 5-day moving average. Uh, uh, I guess that was on uh, Tuesday. And yesterday we saw the big buying in here and just continue. Uh, again, I think it's just short covering in there. The, the Each day, it seems, the mid caps continue to make all-time highs in here. And... You know, except for a couple days right over in here last week when we had that pullback. But the market continues to move higher, and uh, it's foolish to try and fade it. Let's take a look at the semis because we haven't looked at those in a couple days. Um, I'm not going to look at them as, as, as often as, you know, every day because it's basically still the same story. It's, uh, it's still neutral um, with realistically the trading range uh, being 33 to 35 and a half, 35, 70 or so. We can get more specific as it as we need to. Let's take a look at this trend line. Maybe there's something going on here with this. If the market can get above this downtrend line that I just drew in, maybe that's going to lead to a test of the upper boundary up here near $36 a share. Um, was it AMAT that reported? AMAT reported, and they're maybe helping the group a little bit, but uh, 
still overall neutral in there, so nothing too much to get excited about. Let's take a look at the stocks we've been involved in. We've uh, we got involved in AEIS at nineteen dollars and thirty cents. Uh, I forgot where where is our purchase? Maybe right over here, I guess. So nineteen dollars and thirty cents. Our stop uh, was up at nineteen seventy eight. Let's raise raise that up to nineteen dollars and eighty eight cents right now. And um, Amazon, AMZN, we got involved at $39 a share a couple days ago, and uh, that was right here. We got involved at $39 a share. We raised our stop to, uh, we, well, we sold half of the position at 40 bucks a share yesterday on this uh, rally. So the other half, we had a stop at 39.80. That didn't get hit today. So let's raise the stop up to $39.88. Secure Computing, symbol SCUR, we got involved in this one at $8.90, uh, right about here, I guess. And um, our stop was break even, so we got stopped out of that one at break even today. Heartland, HTLD, we got involved in this one at $17 a share, and um, that was, I guess, right here. I said that we wanted to raise our stop to break even, so we did get stopped out of that position today. And uh, stocks that I'd mentioned last night were CNQR. What we were looking for in here was a pullback, first to 16.75, which we did get, and then to buy the stock above 16.85 right here. So you should have been involved in this stock. You see that in the 16.85 area looks like it's holding a support. Probably needs to get above 17 and a dime or so to really get moving. Whatever this number is, maybe about 17.05. But let's go ahead and raise our stop to uh, break even now in uh, CNQR. You should be involved at 1685 right now. Gemstar GMST, we got involved in this one at $4. I said above 420, so we should have been involved at 421 today. Our stop was at, uh, um, wait, where's my notes here? Our stop was $4.12 today. The low in here was 413. So, so far. It looks like the stop's in the right place, but the, it doesn't look like there's really anything happening in the stock either. So let's just keep that stop at $4.12 for now. HOKU, this is Hoku Scientific. We were looking to buy this one on strength above 552. That strength never occurred. I think tomorrow you might want to lower your uh, buy to just above $5.47. I think that could be the catalyst that gets this thing going once again.